Hi guys, it's Stacy here. I've got uh, another share of some journals that I've added to my shop. These are vintage book covers and I've done um, an antique brass uh, ring binding on it. Um, each of these have pretty much exactly the same papers. They're just set up differently. They have are mostly vintage. So the, the disclaimer for these right away is they do have that vintage smell to them because they are their old books and majority of the papers in here are vintage and quite old. So they do have that sort of vintage smell. I love that smell. Some people don't like it. I, I But I just wanted to let you know that because they are very full of uh, vintage papers and stuff that you, you will get that old book smell. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go through them. Um, I'll go through one in more detail and then I'll just flip through the other ones. So these are, they're just rustic cut. I haven't added anything extra to them. I've just cut the spine off. They're, the book covers are so cool. They, um, they're, if it's picking up on the camera, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a deep cherry color. So, um, I, I did just add two rings. I am sending with each journal though um, an extra ring. I have just loosely tied this on here, but you get like some textiles. There is some Tim Holtz fabric here. So it does look like a charm, a tassel charm or whatever you want to call it, tassel. And I've added um, a few little things here, just one of these key tags and um, this charm here on um, on a little chain here. So each one of these journals will get one of these with it. I've just decided that I, I have so much stuff that I thought, well, I'll just throw one of these together. And you can use them to make tabs. Um, you could just basically hang it off here. You could use this in a, in a different project. So there's a little sari silk. And I just thought the sari silk that I had a little bit left of that worked for these really matched the covers really well. And then the Tim Holtz fabric, of course, was kind of gives that vintage look as well. It's got like stamped postal stamps and that kind of thing. And then there's some cotton muslin fabric there and some lace. So anyway, I just wanted to, I'll just show you that really quickly. <clears throat> so going right in here, uh, like I said, these are all the same and I'll just kind of give you an, an overview of, I've used, um, the same papers from the same books just to give you an idea so I mean there's really not much difference between these are I cut these out from read, old readers digest and I've just glued them in here uh, with a you know some tags there's a shipping tag a plain one in each and then you get like one of these here um, it's perforated just sort of a shipping tag or garment tag maybe I have a bunch of them, so I thought I, they looked really nice in there. Fun stuff to play with in your journal. <clears throat> so this one um, has a green library card, and it's just, they're, they're all the same. Like, they all have the same items. I just started out each page um, to look similar, but all the rest of the pages are really set up differently. Um, this is uh, a Seven Gypsies paper pad that I had. And when I cut them in half, of course, they work well, really well. These are eight by four and a half. So these pad, this pad worked really well with that. So this is old vintage ledger. And then of course, you know, here's some more uh, scrapbook paper to give that vintage feel as well. And then this is old um, grid paper, old sewing books. Um, this is newer ledger. But I, I kept the piece all intact. So these are make great art journals, collage journals, however you want to do it. You can, you know, I'm sure even just gessoing over things. This is um, the index of an atlas. Um, I had a huge collection of postcards, botanical postcards. There's craft paper, uh, Edith Holden page. Uh, these are really old encyclopedias from 1949-50, and I've added pages in there. Um, some of this paper is, uh, vin it's vintage paper, but it's those plain sheets you find in the beginning and the end of textbooks where there's nothing on them, but they've got that, you know, that nice aging. And then, of course, you got to have some old atlas paper, and this is, again, this um, Seven Gypsies page scrapbook paper 
old music paper. But I just love the Seven Gypsies paper pad that had that. It's just got a nice vintage feel. I think there's a two or three different uh, types of pads that I had. And I just mix match them. So each one has the same images. Every, like I said, everything is rearranged differently. And uh, the some of the botanical pages, of course, they're just slightly different, but they're all from the same books. It's pretty. And this piece of ledger, I tried to salvage it as much as I could, so I wasn't cutting it as much, cutting it off. So that's just a flip. You can use it as a tuck. You could pull it out right on it or cut it off. Um, these are images from Reader's Digest. Each one has it has a little sewn image on in in each one. I just different image, but just sewn around. These are Seven Gypsies journal cards. These are really fun. I love putting these together. These are the um, um, what do you call those? Those field note botanical books. They're they're you know, maybe from the 60s and 70s. And I had really fun making these little wallpaper. These are old wallpaper borders. And I made them into pockets. And each one has one. And each one has um, a tea card, butter, a vintage tea card with a butterfly, uh, a vintage playing card with the mountains on it, um, an extra cut off piece of old ledger. And these are all aged old. Um, Glassine uh, bags, they were probably for stamps at one point. These are really old Rolodex cards. And they've got that nice aging around the edge. Each one has a different postcard. This one is, oh, I keep, 53, 1953, Italy. I think each one has one from Italy. And then I just included, these are not old, but I just included a couple of sheets of guest checks for add those in there. Just some things to play around with. I'm in frame here. Um, there's more Edith Holden. I love this grid paper. Craft paper, another botanical postcard there. This is a repair tag. It is perforated here. I just folded it up, made it like a pocket. You could take it off of there and use it on a different page. Gives you nice uh, craft cardstock to write on. More of those. This is a vintage airmail envelope. It's got some aging to it. Um, this is these are these old aged date do stickers that I have. A collection of them. I try to put one in pretty much every journal that I make. This is a time card. It's not it's not vintage, but I added one in there anyway. There's some uh, more of those botanical pages. Gardeners uh, books. They're from the 50s, I believe. Here's some more old ledger. It's got some gorgeous aging. It goes really well with this paper. Some more of that scrapbook paper. Each one has a, a big pocket and I've added um, like a big layaway tag in each one. It goes all the way to the bottom. And I've just done some stitching around. Oh, this is a lay yeah, layaway tag. Still trying to get my voice back, guys. <laughs> trying to keep from coughing. Today was a much better day. Some more of that book pages. These are those journal cards from Seven Gypsies. And then music paper, scrapbook paper. These are so fun. They're just the knife side. I think there's. There's 54 pages, 53, so you know it gives you more than 100 sides of writing space and goodies to play with. So I'll just just to kind of show you that they are, you know, different images, but just set up slightly different, different postcards. <clears throat> Here's one of the stitched images, Sim similar but. Yeah, I had a lot of fun putting these together. One of these days I'll have to um, show you the one that I've been playing in. It's it's not one of these covers, but it's a different cover. 
but it's always fun when I'm cutting up and trying to use up some of this stuff from my stash. I have so many vintage books and stuff. I just thought I'd making some projects like this would help put a dent in it. So when I'm cutting up pages, I just kind of make a couple little extra things for myself to play around in. So I'm not just making things to sell. I'm making things to kind of get my own experience from the things I'm putting in my shop. So I'm not just, uh, you know, thinking I just throw stuff in my shop. Sometimes I like to make myself something similar so that I, I can get that, you know, same experience that and feeling of items that I'm actually selling and that I can enjoy them as well. I can't keep everything, but I do, I do have a huge number of things that I duplicate, kind of duplicate for myself. So I have one with a lot of, some of these very same pages and everything in it that I like to play around with. I love the smell of vintage paper. I've always loved the smell of books. Anyway, that just gives you an idea of that you're seeing the same images or they're just set up slightly different. So anyway, yeah, so one of the reasons why I did, I am sending one of these here, sometimes people want a third hole. It, it didn't bother me to play around with them that way, but, or, and because these are antique, I, you know, if one weakens, then you've got an extra one if, uh, if for some reason, because they're, they're, they are antique brass, so I just want to make sure that you know, if, if one needed to be replaced, you had an extra one, or if you wanted to add a third hole. So anyway, these are available now in my shop. I uh, just wanted to do share that with you. And I know a few people, I've posted them a while back on Instagram, and I just never had a chance to do a video. So anyway, um, thanks again for watching, and we will I will be back again very soon with some more little goodies. But um, let me know what you think.